Good afternoon, dear colleagues. A regular discussion of the current view how to treat CRC is important from social point of view, because according to the mortality and mobility, mobility and in the Russian Federation, this pathology is leading in the all malignant tumors. The choice of the treatment in case of a dissimilar metastatic disease is defined by several factors. Uh, first of all, it's uh, the advancement of meta metastasis. And now uh, there is a term uh, that is known as oligometastatic process for the CRC. It means isolated liver involvement or uh, uh, mono lesion in the lungs. Strategy of the therapy of the metastatic CRC has been changed since the development of liver surgery. Uh, there, it's possible to remove uh, the metastasis localized in the liver and in the lungs. Uh, we may say about curability of the MCRC. Isolated liver involvement uh, happens in 20 30 percent of patients. But to consider the situation, whether it's suitable for radical treatment or not, we shall to assess a number of factors, uh, characterize tumorous process and the functional status of the patient, PS. Priority is the number of metastases and uh, uh, possibility of removal. In 2006, the results of one of the early systematic trials were reviews were uh, meta-analysis uh, meta were published. Patients with the MCRC who had radical surgery, liver surgery performed, uh, their five-year survival rate amounted to 30%. Comparing to this, no one patient without surgery didn't manage to survive this time frame. Apart from the number of tumorous lesions, uh, resectability or not resectability of metastasis, uh, ECOG PS, we shall take into account molecular and genetic properties of the tumor and as well as technical capabilities of uh, to perform the operation not only technical not only not only capability of technical removal of the lesion uh, should be taken into account but uh, one shall preserve at least 30 percent of liver tissue to prevent liver failure postoperatively uh, molecular genetic profile of a colorectal cancer the detection of this is very important before aggressive surgical treatment and it's defined by the fact that the number of trials uh, demonstrated that the very BRAP mutation is aligned with the unfavorable outcome of the disease. It was shown while analyzing the survival rate of patients with a resectable form uh, of uh, uh, cancer grade 3. If BRAF is positive, the patients, they uh, live to worse comparing to patients without mutations, taking into account the similar therapeutic regimen. BRAF mutation is related to the negative tumorous uh, uh, cause of the disease. 26 uh, studies uh, as meta-analysis were uh, um, reviewed uh, comparing quality of life and uh, the life expectancy of patients exposed to different regimens of therapy. BRAF mutation led to the risk of death double fold comparing patient without mutation. Even patient with an isolated liver involvement, these patients are very heterogeneous. Apart from them, 15 percent, they have metastasis that initially uh, might be radically removed, but 80 percent of patients, uh, for 80 percent of patients, it's impossible to operate on effective anti-cancer therapy. Later on, uh, in 20 percent of patients, 
may help to transfer met metastatic process into the curable one. According to the guideline of the leading uh, communities, there should be a therapeutic, a therapeutic regimen, the use of monoclonal antibody and aggressive uh, chemotherapy. This approach, together with the surgery, will help us to increase life expectancy at maximum. Induced uh, therapy has some restriction. It should be stopped as soon as uh, the tumor lesions become uh, resectable. The surgeon should be confident that he removed all the possible lesions. And on the, on the one hand. On the other hand, uh, the duration of induced in, uh, induction therapy should be uh, correlated with the potential danger of liver failure. To uh, reach uh, a set goal, to make lesions resectable, or we should select uh, the ther therapeutic uh, regimens uh, at, uh, with the highest level of efficacy. Uh, the therapeutic regimen should be as effective as possible. And in this case, we can expect shrinkage of, of tumor in several in different trials, namely in prior trial, fair, fair tree and meta-analysis that was published in 2014. Uh, there was mentioned that there is association between the early shrinkage of tumor and the pro pro prolong uh, and the prolongation of life expectancy. Uh, there, there is a tech on, uh, containing regimens that doesn't include much uh, overall survival. The frequency of radical operations turned out to be higher if we use oxaliplatin regimens, and it's included into the NCCN guidelines as a preferable therapeutic regimen of the first line. <coughs> radical uh, involvement and radical uh, 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 has a different um, positive effect on survival rate. And this was demonstrated once again in the year 2009 when the results of retrospective study were published for 2,470 patients with colorectal cancer. Some of them were with the resection of liver, others did not have it. We can see that the median for the uh, overall uh, survival with uh, for resection <coughs> patients is over five years and so uh, um, 65 months plus and then another uh, meta-analysis published in 2012 and it brings together four uh, studies uh, assessed the uh, impact of chemotherapy plus uh, GFR inhibitors uh, with the wild type KRS gene it appears that in 20% of patients after effective combined therapy um, uh, in the future, it became possible to carry out the radical uh, surgery on liver. Now, the renovated analysis with the better selection of patients uh, with the wild type uh, of the whole RAS uh, spectrum made it possible to increase the percentage of paper with radical surgeries up to 30. And now, all this found its reflection in the possibility to achieve the median of uh, survival of 57 months. 57.5, and these um, indicators of long-term survival make it possible to assume that there is uh, this particular group of patients is curable. Then uh, another study, a small study that proves the high efficacy of uh, lindicon contained regimen, a uh, high response rate, and uh, um, uh, uh, resection is also uh, quite possible in liver with its isolated lesion, about 40, uh, 30 to 40 percent. And then, uh, once again, we can emphasize uh, the, the uh, correlation between the decreasing size of the tumor and the overall um, survival. 
median with the patients after surgery was 51.5 months. Now, uh, there is uh, analysis of 2018, quite recent, when data was presented for the long-term observation of patients uh, involved in the FIRE 3 um, trial. And it appears that irrespective of the variant of therapy, the leading role in the life expectancy was uh, the uh, liver surgery. So in the groups of patients uh, with resectability, um, with the surgery performed, the um, uh, median was 51.3 months. In the group that reached resectability, but uh, without resection, uh, went down to 31 months. And uh, for those um, who stayed in the group of non-resectable, was just a year and a half. The subgroup analysis make it uh, possible to see that the wild type uh, genes, uh, the combination with Folfox and Folferi and Cetuximab might um, lead to the improvement of the resectability. So within FIRE 3, it became possible to increase it from 20 to 30% to 50% using Cetuximab plus Folferi regimen. And as for the terms for induction therapy, now these must be um, reasonably limited. Another important analysis in FIRE 3 concerns uh, resectability and the overall survival depending on the number of uh, bodies uh, with lesions. And it appears when the metastasis are localized just in liver or just in the lung, after the radical surgery, the median of overall survival goes beyond six years and is actually 64.1 months. Uh, another article I would like to mention here it, uh, dates back to 2018. The authors suggest the most optimal strategy of the treatment for patients with the wild-time RAS uh, genes, so, uh, depending on the goals set. Now, if the goal uh, of the therapy is to achieve the maximum objective response, high frequency of early uh, tumor response and the depth of the response, then the use of anti-HRF agents in the first line is the most justified strategy. And the combination of chemotherapy with Zuptisimab in this meta-analysis demonstrated the maximum advantage uh, from the point of view of the overall response. Now, um, multidisciplinary uh, medical approach uh, to be adequately assessed and effectively uh, implemented, the panel of experts of NCCN believes that the patients should be sent to the reference centers, the centers that have all the necessary uh, state-of-the-art resources, thus analyzing the um, median of the overall um, uh, uh, survival, it became possible to carry out the resection of the organs with lesion. And we can say in this case that the uh, colorectal metastatic cancer is potentially curable. And most probably, curability can be achieved if the tumors have wild type in relation to RAS and BRAF genes, which makes it possible to use the most effective uh, uh, therapeutic regimens. And the criteria of uh, uh, curability uh, is the possibility to have a rejection which should be carried out as soon as the resectability level is achieved. This will relieve the patients of tumor and will help them retain the functional status of the liver.